Good evening, this is the Oscar Expert here with Brother Rowe at the Sundance Film Festival, and it's time for a review of Good Luck to You, Leo Grand. The film was written by Katie Brand and directed by Sophie Hyde, and it stars Academy Award winner Emma Thompson. The film's about a woman who, two years after her husband passed, decides to hire a sex worker to try things that she's never experienced. And Emma Thompson's character is like the last person that you'd ever expect to hire a sex worker, and that's what makes the movie fun. She's pretty prudish and very shy about sex in general, and has never been adventurous before in her life and that relates to sex but I also think it relates to her level of comfort with herself in general and so I think no matter if you're really like, reserved when it comes to that stuff or whether you're very adventurous this movie can meet you kind of like where you're at because it's about those two sides sort of coming together yeah the movie's almost like a play it's a lot of dialogue it's pretty much in one location and you get a lot of these characters getting to know each other and Daryl McCormick's character you know he's got something to open up about as well and we get to know him a little bit better as the movie goes on. The two characters have a very unlikely, charming chemistry together. It's also a pretty funny movie. It'll definitely have an easy time making you chuckle. A lot of the movie is a showcase for the writing and the acting. I mean, the dialogue really pops here. It's always fresh. You know, the characters are always finding something new to talk about, something new to explore. I think the movie also visually does a good job keeping things fresh with the blocking and the camera movements because each little moment has a different feel to it despite being in the same place. Emma Thompson's pretty perfect here. She really elevates each line of dialogue. She makes it really funny. We really buy this character's nerves and the push and pull of her inner conscience. The film threatens to play it a little too safe and I thought for the first two acts that it was playing it too safe and that you'd get really close with the characters but then you wouldn't actually witness a lot of the real physical intimacy but the film is about physical intimacy but without giving anything away the ending changed my mind about that i think it absolutely needed to go there and i'm glad that it did it's easy to see how different people could come away with different takeaways from this movie and it might even be a movie that makes you come out wanting to try something new and give your life a little bit of spice not even necessarily you know in the bedroom just just in general perhaps i think this movie has the power to give people a little bit of a change of perspective even if it's just very slight daryl mccormick did a pretty perfect job portraying the sex worker. I completely bought him as someone who's very, very comfortable with himself in contrast to Emma Thompson. And he holds his own against Emma Thompson in the later scenes when the tables turn and he's the one who's opening up more. One complaint I have here is that there's some really, really didactic exchanges about sex work that is just the writers explicitly like stating what kind of attitude they think society should have about sex work and also like what legislatively people should do about it. It was so on the nose, it felt like we were being talked to and preached to. I think they could have trusted people to come away from the movie and like get where this movie might stand on that stuff. It's not much of a leap to make. It did somewhat do a good job of bringing it up organically where I could have, I bought that the characters would have talked about it like that, but I get what you're saying. Like it kind is the of. movie kind of like telling you you know, the call to action part of itself. It, yeah, it's like in a movie if the character said, hey, you know, and maybe it would be better if we all just did the X, Y, and Z. They're almost breaking the fourth wall when they do it. That's kind of why it was weird to me. That being said, though, if you don't agree with the movie's message about, like, sex work and, like, and all that before going in, like, you're going to agree with the movie afterwards. So I think it yeah. could change people's minds about that. It's very, very palatable. You know, the movie did everything I kind of wanted it to do. It didn't really do anything I, I guess I didn't expect it to, so maybe I wasn't blown away by the movie. This is a really enjoyable, charming movie with a great message for anybody, and I would give it an 8 out of 10. Pretty easy movie to recommend to all. I would go with a 7.5 on this one. Thank you for watching. Watching. Thank you for subscribing. Can you wish Leo Grand some good luck?